welcome you scorpions let's see what's happening for the scorpions in love what's happening for the scorpions in love in the month of may okay so strong friendships are going to be made and this is through having fun time with an Aquarius, gemini or libra or someone you are going to be meeting um maybe through um you know whoever this person is it could be law enforcement and so but you're going to be making a strong bond with this person and it's going to be good now it's you men that is showing up that is going to be making the strong bond with these people so it's as if you have met them and you know they they, they, they think you're just so um uh, some of you have made some um friendship bonds and uh, you are having now some regrets and some news is going to be coming in from a woman a, a, a older woman and she is a Aries Leo or a Sagittarius okay yeah fun times definitely you Pisces you Pisces are really going to have some fun time because the, um, whatever the quarrels whatever that was going on around you it's now over and finally you're feeling so happy so all you want to do is just have some fun because whatever you are going through was so horrible um, and you finally got out and now you just want to have fun you just want to laugh you just want to drink laugh have fun and this is going to be good now some of you men who are courting you there was some conflicts with you and an Aquarius Gemini or Libra and that person was not the right person for you and you're going to be receiving help to be released from this person okay so some of you very nice young men that has somehow crossed part with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra um, this person has brought you in some really serious situation you thought um, you know you were in love with this woman whatever it was it was not love um, this person was in the relationship for materialistic gains and they carry the energy of the devil but you're going to be receiving help to be released from this woman. you know help is going to come in that is going to re release you from this woman because it's as if this woman has gotten you in some serious problem and um, this person comes in as a love person with love and you meet this person in the wrong place at the wrong time okay but it was your karma because you choose to be this with this person okay um sometimes we meet people and i you know you, you were aware that you know but yet still you're saying okay it's not the type of person i will go with but anyway you know i don't want people to think that i'm you know full of it um, in the second week some of you are going to be meeting your your soulmates and you're going to oh oh okay so oh <laughs> okay so in the second week it's gonna be beautiful some of you are going to be meeting your soulmate some of you your your true gem which is someone that makes you feel magical especially in the passion and past love so what is happening in um, this week is that definitely you guys are going to be meeting your soulmate and for the people who are going to be meeting their soulmate whatever energies that is coming out is just going to be hot passionate yes you're going to be thinking oh I am okay I've never felt this before what's happening to me and it's going to be you people between the ages of 18 and 45 um ooh, the passion is good but you're not some of you are not trusting something about this passion the passion is good but some of you are not trusting something about this passion and what I'm seeing that is coming in is that some of you have turned your back off on a mystical relationship there you know you you have stopped communicating with this person this person 
is between the age of 18 and 45 and it's a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and you decided not to communicate with this person because your intuition is guiding you that this person is all over the place with different people and that sort of a thing so you decided no um, let me let I move away from this because I am not basically feeling um, good about this so some of you are going to be here planning because you have met your soulmate and you're planning to do something special for them because you're realizing how much this person touches your life and how much you touches this person life so you're definitely definitely is trying um, to make it work because I'm seeing it's as if you felt as if I must make this work because whatever it is um, that that bring us together I need to make this work so there's a lot of communication you're communicating with this person because you really want to know who is this person and how can I be best in a relationship with this person because it's as if you feel as if this is what you have been waiting for so there's going to be a lot of passion whether with a past love or whether with a true gem which is this mystical feelings that you have with someone and that is because you and this person have this I chemistry together it is just going to be good I'm seeing communication some of you who are in a relationship with a knight of with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius is going to realize that this person is driven by money and you're going to think to yourself I don't want this this is this is not what I want it could be you who are driven by money and this person is listening to their intuition and not liking what is coming forward from you because it's as if your spirit guides always uh, warn you when you meet someone and they protect you because they know that there is going to be a situation in relationship that you're going to be needing protection um, from or with, okay? No, oh, so that is also coming up for you guys, but it is beautiful, beautiful in this month to have a soulmate, true gem, past life relationship and they are all going to be very very passionate for you guys they're all going to be very very passionate for you guys and this is just so positive because these are relationship and these are different forms of relationship that we clear karmas with okay so however way they're going to be coming up in our lives is that we are going to be clearing the karma with them and this is going to be good because finally we are going to be exiting you know really exiting out of some transition where you're going to start to feel love as if you have never felt before so that is good okay some of you are dealing with a knight of pentacles listen to your intuition because this man is only about money okay so let go of this person it is this man is only about money let go of this person okay so we have the energy in the third wheel third week of the wallpaper and uh, destiny to become a beautiful queen again so some of you has gotten hurt you have uh, take down your walls you have gone in your house you've built up your walls you have been thinking there is so much things that is going on what is going to be happening to these wallpapers these are the men um, some of you men have um, been in the situation and now you're getting out now you're deciding I'm letting this go now you're getting out and you're going to be letting this go and this is going to be good because what is going to be happening is that you're basically what is basically happening is that you have been so hurt that you have gone in a place where you are going to be released okay because you were you were so hurt so very hurt and you have gone in a place where you're going to be released from this place and you're going to be understanding that uh, the deceptiveness with your marriage okay 
you will have a new start because some of you have found out that there was some deception that has placed in your marriage and this is because of a it was destined to happen because it's as if you have done it to someone else in the past and now you're repaying your karma in this future so or you know vice versa so what is here and what is transpiring is that men um between the ages of 45 and older you have become this wallpaper or you have you know stepped back from reality taken away and now you because it has to do with your um your marriage and your wife has took all everything and now she's looking beautiful and she's out there attracting all these young guys some of you um, who have been in isolation for a time is going to reconnect with a young man and this young man is an Aries Lee or a Sagittarian okay and you might get um, you might fall in love with this person some of you men 45 years and older is going to be finding out that there was some deceptive move where um, you know your marriage um, you're going to be finding out that your partner your wife or or husband uh, has um, been with someone else okay um, some of you who are in relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius is going to be finding out that he has been with an uh, um, and this is your husband with a lot of people around the blocks and you have cut him off and went in isolation and now you're you are about to get out of this isolation and pick up your life and you're going to be meeting someone exactly as you decide to get out of the isolation someone is just going to be reappearing in your life and this is just going to be beautiful the third week is all about love and uh, and marriages it's all about marriages it's all about the soulmate connection but it's more about marriage that it was destined whether it ended whatever it has transpired it was destined that it happened okay you could not have done nothing um to 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 um stop this um situation some of you um, beautiful women are going to be meeting a really wealthy man and you're going to be marrying to this man definitely you're going to be marrying to this man and this is going to be an extremely wealthy man and you're going to be marrying to this man and it's as if it was what you have always wished and dreamed for so now it's the the wishes and dreams have come out so um, it's the energy of a uh, um, the magician is in reverse because you have always wished and dream uh, and hope and dream to marry to a wealthy person so this is definitely going to be happening um, to you guys okay now let's look at your last week and see what's coming up in the last week I'm seeing a tower moment where a relationship is just going to abruptly end in the four weeks and it has uh, effect to do with kids and it's for you men young men who are married out there some of you women who are in um, a, 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 um, a love triangle this is going to abruptly end it it's just going to be abruptly ended so be aware of that so what's happening some of you definitely new love is coming in for you young men whatever is happening um, whatever the the deception was a new love is coming in for you young men okay this is just wonderful and positive now i'm seeing situation with relationships children sadness and the energy where someone tried to pull a wall over your eyes and you found out what was going on there is definitely going to be a judgment call now for you ladies um, what I'm seeing is that you're protecting yourself from a situation and now you're seeing the truth of a situation so it's as if um, you guys were sorry um, 
you guys were dealing with someone that was trying to put a fast one over you and uh, you know pulling a fast one over you it's, it's as if they're looking for stability and they're trying they're seeing multiple people to find out which one they're going to be choosing and you're like damn no I ain't playing this game <laughs> you're like three snaps I'm out of here bye okay because it's as if they were seeing multiple people and they were then trying to figure out yeah which one am I going to take so it's that you know you're you will see them on this night or that night but it's as if they have these different people it could be you playing this game because you scorpions will play this game I know you scorpions you always have three or backup or you know and what is going to transpire is that you know definitely someone new is going to be coming in and especially you men expect to meet someone new new love is coming in some of you try to pull a fast one with someone it's as if you wanted to corner them in a relationship and it didn't work it's as if you want to have your cake and eat it because it's as if you wanted to conquer all the puss but you want to have this person in your corner and this person is like listen do I look like I am playing or do I look like I want to stand in the line and you know and it could be you it could be vice versa that um, you decide that I'm standing in the line I'm gonna make one choice and I want to stay at that choice because there is definitely um, triangle relationship um, triangle relationships so this is definitely happening so be aware of this because this is going to be playing out for a lot of you guys okay so I'm seeing a lot of you you know want to build on families want to find the right person want to settle down all of this is going on just just about all of this is going on so um, I want to say to you guys especially the people who are in these love triangles whatever is happening whatever is transpiring know that sometimes it happens a lot of people um, I remember I have a conversation with a friend of mine and you know it's as if you know we were saying that universe put our just you know a, a finger on us to say that we can only love one person at one time and you know I don't think it's fair because some of us have two and three four soulmates and we meet these people and we don't want to leave that relationship yet and we can't move forward so you know that is some of the situations that is playing out now um please like share these um, videos subscribe 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 let me know you guys what is happening how things are working out for you guys i love you so much namaste until next time